All right. Well, here's hoping that I can actually do a decent enough video at showing you guys my base and the updates and changes I've done to it so far. I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while now, actually. <laughs> Could never find the proper way to do it, though. There's just so much to show. And every time I try to get a specific order to be shown in a specific way of each room, I always end up messing it up one way or another. So once my bedroom starts to render, I'll show you everything. Well, like I said, this my bedroom. I actually have an elevator to get me back to the roof from here. It's kind of cool, I think. Go ahead and show you the roof or balcony, roof access, whatever you want to call it. But right here, as I'm sure you'll remember from the last video, it's a nice little spot that I just hang out at. It's a nice little overview. But yes, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I'll show you the rest of the base, each section at a time. I don't want to get too carried away. Because if I end up doing that, I end up starting to show multiple rooms that I've already shown. This is my little apothecary tower. I don't really use it much. I mainly just make health potions. Then we slide on down here. We've got the tinkerer's bench and the casting table. See, got little signs to tell you where you're at. Of course, this one's called the hallway and it leads to the kitchen. See, hallway right there. Uh, dining room. I actually like this area a lot. It's not really anything to show off, but it is kind of the start of the extra bit of lore that I've written into this base. But it's kind of book one. I've tried to give it my own little spin. You can pause the video whenever you'd like right here. I won't keep it up forever, but pause the video and read everything. I'll do each part. Got part two right here. I plan to do four parts each, but I've only been able to get the three. No. That's not right. I've got part two over here with the first one. And then if we leave the kitchen area and go to the tavern through this little area um, well there's the guest house for starters just below the tavern one of my more favorite locations but if we go up the stairs it will actually be level with the tavern I like to call it the elders Inn tavern can't really see it because the torch is blocking the text but once you get done reading the first two, you'll eventually find your way here into the tavern. And if you find yourself exploring enough, you'll find the sheet of paper right here that'll give you the third part. But I also don't want to get too distracted. I also do want to show off the rest of my base. And as I said before, this is the tavern. It's also open PvP. Uh, you can toggle the option to, you know, do a bar fight or not. Uh, it sounds like the mountains erupting with our meteorites. Very cool. But uh, if you don't want to partake in the open PvP brawling tavern, you can actually sit up here and watch the PvE fights that I can set up just outside in this giant window here. 
some more immersiveness. <laughs> but once you get a good look around at the tavern, we can actually, um, go outside where the book that we found earlier about the mysterious black cat told us uh, we can find the next piece right here behind the post and unfortunately this is as far as I've gotten with it but I plan to write another another uh, scroll if the game will allow it but yeah this is the little alleyway for my base. It leads to the dining room, border walls, underneath it leads to the guest house, and above will lead us to the tavern, as well as the outside border walls as well. Uh, don't be mistaken by this design. Uh, I have this divider specifically for one reason, and it's to show the PvP line on the ground. I also use these signs to tell everybody to not fight in my map room, which is right here. So yes, once you cross this border line right here, uh, you'll get a heads up display telling you that this is PvP, but that's only because of this banner that I have placed. I have it placed in the map room, well, because to decorate the map room and it also works below, so the tavern is directly below this map room, but I'd prefer it if you kept all the fighting in the bar. And, the cool part is about the map room, if you go over to these elevators that you see in each floor in the corners, they'll take you to the second floor. The cool thing about the second floor is, it's my portal room as well. Now, I don't have the second compound built that I had in the previous video that I showed off. That ended up decaying over time. But there is a nice view out here. Get to see part of my wizard's or sorcerer's tower, whichever. Give me a second. But yeah, moving on from the amazing map room. Super basic, I know, but I find simplicity to also be very attractive. Although, simplicity might not be the best way to describe my base layout. Right here is actually a place where you can fight the, uh, or not fight, but witness the fights as well, if you don't want to sit inside the bar, which is down there. I like to call these, uh, bleachers, if you will. <laughs> It's actually kind of fun because it has a bar, or what would be considered a bar to keep all your drinks up here, while you sit and watch, I guess. Now we can get a closer look at the Fight Club Arena, and it does have a journal that kind of gives you some information about the do's and don'ts. Again, you're more than welcome to pause the video and read everything yourself but the gist of it is um, don't stand in the fighting arena if there's a fight going on the NPC will more than likely try to aggro on you so your best option is to stay back here in the archery range I know right hopefully you won't have any archers practicing during these fights but yes you're more than welcome to sit here and watch the fight uh, the NPC may try to aggro on you here, but the NPC will eventually take enough damage to where he'll get back into the fight. And if we come over here behind the Fight Club arena, we can actually sit right here and watch the fight. super awkward because it's so close but you know it's my first build on an official server have my little horse 
stand, shed, shack, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> now, I actually had the um, taming base for horses and all that at my old garrison, but again, that ended up disintegrating over time. Luckily, I was still able to get my horse produced afterwards. Or beforehand. Now, the main thing I wanted to show off here is, if you remember from the last video of my base that I did, a lot of it was still made out of sandstone and whatnot. I've since upgraded the design to go with the Numidian. I believe it has a much much better feel to it. <clears throat> the only downside is you can still see the bar right back there. It doesn't really mix well with the Numidian, but I can't really do much about that right now. If I'm not mistaken, I actually had banners or tapestries hanging from there, like rugs, but I guess I forgot to put those back up. Well, anyways, I've built some golems since the last video as well. That was an exciting update, if any of you ever participated in it. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the majority of my base. Nothing's really changed on the outsides. Except I do believe I actually finally finished the border right here. So it's no longer made with uh, sandstone foundations. Nope, I, uh, I covered it all. Unfortunately, it's still pretty cosmetic. But I'll eventually figure something out to do a better defense. Well, let's go back inside and show you the rest of it all. <laughs> Just in case you've forgotten, yep, I've been building since July 12th of last year. It's been a very slow process, but, you know, we'll get there eventually. I definitely wanted to show this updated version before it disintegrated as well, seeing as how my garrison did. I do have signs everywhere posting information. Um, I mainly point everybody to read this journal here because it'll tell you about my base, how to get around, and some backstory. Again, you're more than welcome to pause during these times to get a good read out of what's being said. One of my favorite spots is the graveyard that I have right here. It's nothing fancy, but they are full of zombies for the most part. Nice little feeding area for the zombies. Or at least it would have been until I started to get more pets and whatnot. Let's not forget my altar. Uh, I wonder. Wow. I guess uh, I don't have it. I used to have the beam of light that shot out from here. I guess that's not working right now. Again, border walls to meet in with the dining room and the alleyway to get to the tavern some more border walls and the mysterious black cat that the journal has been talking about that you'll find throughout my base one of my favorite parts is the actual balcony right here it's just so relaxing to just sit up here If you remember from my last video, 
This door used to not be here. Well, you'll probably remember the room. Because the doorway used to actually be right here. Well, I got tired of crouching all the time. So I decided to switch it up. Made it a little more accessible. One of my favorite things about this is actually the... Um, the lineup with the floor you'll see that right here there's a step up because it's not perfectly lined with everything which I find totally totally fine I it gives it more character I think and besides it's like a separation if you will uh, knowing that you're stepping up into a balcony a uh, living room outside if you will and then, yeah, I won't talk too much on it. Well, now that I've shown you all of the outside, let's go ahead and show you the inside. My favorite part is actually the living room which is right up here. And yes, if you do visit my server, <laughs> if I ever give out that information, <laughs> if you remember earlier, um, when I was logging in, you'll actually see the information there. So, if you ever want to check out my base in person, just rewind the video. Stand outside my base, Ring the doorbell over there to let me know that you're here. Ha <laughs> ha. And, with any luck, you'll see me through the windows, and I'll be able to see you. But yes, this is my living room. I actually really, really enjoy this space a lot. If you remember from the previous video, the storage room was also on the other side. I've moved it since then as well. Added some more decorations. Yes, I even have a bedroll in my storage room. <laughs> you saw part of the kitchen earlier, but I never actually showed it off properly. nothing super fancy but I also find it super cozy this carpet trick was really really difficult nah I'm just playing it was super easy I actually have the black ice foundation underneath the carpet this whole room was black ice foundation originally but since I got the Namidian upgrade I wanted to replace it well, when in the process of doing that, I noticed that the Namidian would be a little taller than the black ice, which gave it that overlap to hide the carpet. So it makes the living room look a little more clean, if you will. I've also got more notes written down here as well, just to give my base a little more feel for, you know, being lived in. Let's see. Also, if you do find yourself here at my base, it's always open. Uh, you'll just have to go through the back area, because my front door is always closed. But. If you do happen upon yourself in here, come over here to the blacksmithing area and you can see how to do stuff if you've forgotten, like myself. I'll give you clues on how to collect star metal as well. And yeah. 
<clears throat> Got a work orders list right here. Just so I can keep an eye, keep track of what I was doing. I do a lot of solo play. Now, you've probably noticed that I've got a ladder sticking up here. Right there. This is actually one of my favorite parts. <clears throat> Pardon me. Because if you come up here, hopefully it'll do it a little correctly. There we go. Give yourself space to close the door. You can actually use this as a spy hole. A spyglass, a peephole, a way to see who's at your front door before they're actually at your front door. Obviously, I'm on a PvE server, so not all of this would be good ideas for PvP base building. But that's not what we're here for. Now, if we come over here you'll see that I've got a sorcerer's tower. It's where I do all of my dark magics. <laughs> <clears throat> this is also all part of my uh, original build. I've, like, everything you see here is like the first thing I've ever done on an online server. Outside of creative, like I've, I've placed everything myself. Coming up the Sorcerer's Tower, we'll come up to the next floor. It's where I tame my thralls and build my uh, golems. third floor, we'll get to the Sorcerer's Study. Now, this is supposed to be more PvE slash player helpful. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you read this journal right next to the entrance to the third floor, it'll give you a rundown of what this room is. And it's supposed to be a place where you can learn about how to become a sorcerer. But for whatever reason, these first three books continue, or first six books, I'm sorry, continue to despawn. I don't understand why. I probably think it's a build limit. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. But if we follow to these other tables, we'll have the other seven through twelve tiers to learn how to unlock sorcery. Kind of get an idea of what you're supposed to do. Now, I won't, I won't click on all of the books, but it'll give you an idea of what I mean. But yeah, this is supposed to be a study hall to learn how to become a sorcerer. <clears throat> <clears throat> and once you've done all of that, you can actually come up to the very top of the roof right here. Climb up the building <clears throat> and when you're able to you can use your bat demon summon to make your grand escape from the tower. Now if you want to see me do that um, you can actually see me do that in the previous video. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be about my entire base. I appreciate you all hanging in there with me. I had a blast showing it off. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I've just never had a proper way to figure out how to show it off. I'd either go through several rooms and mess up the video or just do a bad job overall but yes this is my base first attempt on an online server so I've been trying to 
make sure it doesn't decay for quite some time. Very, very difficult to do. But now that I've got it all recorded, I feel a little better. <clears throat> I'd feel a little better if it uh, did decay. At least I'd have a recording to reference. <laughs> also, if you want to do a same similar build to this, my coordinates are actually right over here. Right out in the Munns area. Coordinates are C11, and I'm just north of the Circle of Swords in that upper square area. So if you're able to find the location, I think it's a great spot to do some building. All right, well, thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I had a blast. Now we'll catch you guys next time.